PodSound School presents Content Heavy, the podcast that helps online business owners make better content and more money. Let's Hefe up. Hello, amigo, amigaso, Content Hefe. Welcome to the Content Hefe podcast brought to you by the Pod Sound School. I'm Veronica. And I'm Studio Steve. This podcast is for you if you're an online business owner or content creator trying to figure out content creation and how to make money online. On each episode, we'll bring you inside the content marketing world to help you make better content and more money. Yes, and on this episode, we are going to talk about the eight reasons that podcasting is really good for business. We have a lot to cover, so let's get to the juicy stuff. Hello, uh, we're here. We're here. We're here. Back this for another, another episode. episode. Uh huh. I love these episodes. We are having so much fun. If you're new to our podcast, this is a video and an audio podcast. You can listen anywhere you listen, or you can watch it on Spotify or YouTube. Mm -hmm. How are you today? Uh, I'm good. I'm the heavy breather in we, the... We didn't in, mean it, but we're matching. I'm the host who is the heavy breather. She's the host with the heavy breathing. So it's a little tricky because um, sometimes you're like, well, you need to you know, be very close to the microphone so you can... Uh huh. You know, but then so you also can have get to get away levels. from the microphone so they don't then breathe. When like you a breathe, <laughs> yeah, when you breathe, you need to be away from the microphone. So I, I'm either far away that you can barely hear me. While yes, I'm here, like <laughs> breathing. Yes, breathing in your ear. Uh huh. And you know, we're the pod sound school, so <laughs> we have to make sure that we don't make those kind of mistakes, like mouth noises <laughs> and breathing and stuff. But you're doing yes. great. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard I'm your improving. breath in an episode for a really long really? time. Yeah. Yeah, I know how to hold my breath. So I get scolded. Podcasting really is good for business, right? Yeah. So this is what this episode is about. Mm -hmm. And if you are an online business owner and you've been contemplating the idea of starting a podcast, uh, this episode will just uh, send you into doing it right away. Yeah, it will. That's our hope. And you maybe have already heard from many other coaches or other people online telling you that you need to have a podcast. So we're going to cover what we think are the eight top reasons mm -hmm. that podcasting will just do amazing things for your business. And, and yeah, let, let us know in the comment if you are interested in starting a podcast or if you started a podcast, uh, let us know in the comments or if you are listening to this episode or you can uh, get a hold to us on social media. Uh -huh, at Pod Sound School. At Pod Sound School. And let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. Okay. Do we uh, want to do anything special for the tip number one? Uh, tip number one or reason number one uh, you should have a podcast for your business is that the long format content is key to nourishing and building relationships with your prospects. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love this. I think that there are two different kinds of content. We talk about this a lot. The short form content is really for people who are meeting you for the first time. Yes. And it's just to sort of catch their attention. But once you have somebody's attention, then you need to continue along this journey with them. You mm -hmm. could call it the buyer's journey. The buyer's journey, yes. And in that's a very important journey where you build a relationship. Mm -hmm. You uncover more problems that they have mm -hmm. so that you can then be positioned to be the one that they trust to solve those problems mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. And there is no better format or medium to do that than a podcast. Yeah. And I have uh, creative videos talking about uh, marketing, talking about marketing strategy and how podcasting can be part of your marketing strategy or what is, is just the key component of your marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. The social media platforms, uh, Instagram, TikTok, and even YouTube, they're out there with their robust algorithms to help you bring eyes to your business, to uh kind of like put you in front of your ideal customer or your prospects. But then from there, where do you take them? You have to take them to a longer format, uh, longer content format, which can be longer videos on YouTube, or in this case can be a podcast. Or if you are thinking about starting a video podcasting is even better because then you have both. Mm -hmm. And you can repurpose a bunch of stuff from your video podcast mm -hmm. into them micro pieces of content that catch the attention to begin with. They catch the attention to begin the, with. The other form of long content would be newsletters or emails. Those are also really great, very important, and can be very fruitful, but they are not as engaging mm -hmm. as a podcast as can be. As a podcast can be, yes. Mm -hmm. So 
The second reason. The second reason is that it's a, it's a very good alternative to video, mm -hmm. and that is. If you are shy, if you don't want, if the thought of making videos just make you like crawl out of your skin and convulsed <laughs> yes. like Steven, <laughs> 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 then podcasting is a very good way for you to start creating content because you don't have to show your face. Yes. You just have to, you record your audio and you can wear your sweatpants and you can be relaxed. You don't have to worry about makeup. You don't have to worry about the way you look or or your office, none of that. You just sit down and you record your episode and you're done. Yes. So that's why it's a very good alternative to video. I love that. Mm -hmm. okay. Then the other uh, reason is when, the, I don't know where, like, where to plug is, but I think it's important. Uh, when you go live on Instagram, when you uh, go live with your audience on whatever platform, the the your audience has to sit down and watch you. They have to watch the whole thing and and uh, maybe they're not on the platform to watch uh, one hour or I don't know if you can make longer lives. Lives than an hour? Yeah, I think, I think it's an hour uh, on the phone. But with podcasting, they can get you on the go. They yeah. just have to start playing your podcast episode and they can... Uh, you know, drive around town, uh, uh -huh. run their errands. And that is actually one the of yard. our points near the oh, end. Oh, one of the That's points. one of the oh, eight okay. points. Mm. But that's a good one, and we'll elaborate more on that. Oh, because it's convenient that. for the yeah. listeners. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's good, because it's leading into it. But let's move on to point number three. Point number three. Uh -huh. It's a great alternative to writing if you're not the type who wants to spend hours every week keeping your blog or newsletter current. You want to take that one? Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, you just said it. It can be a lot of work to do to keep a blog going. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're not a writer, if you're not sort of used to that already, then that could be a really hard thing in a newsletter as well, too. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when you're doing blogging, you're doing the whole SEO game and dance. The other thing that's really cool is not only is it an alternative to that, but you can also, there's a lot of ways that you can get free transcripts from the audio that you record on your podcast. So if you're doing unscripted podcasts where you talk with guests or even just off the cuff with yourself, then you can get those transcripts and very easily repurpose those into blog posts and email and copy for everywhere else too. It's even better if you have an assistant or somebody that is doing that copywriting for you, then you have the material to give them every week based off your transcripts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that takes us to the next point, which is repurposing. Number four, <laughs> repurposing. Yeah, number four is that you can repurpose your podcast into different types of content. I mean, you name it. And even better, if you're doing a video podcast, this is what we do here. So we record our video podcast, and then we use the copy for our captions. We use the copy for our emails that we send to our email subscribers. Uh -huh. We take snippets of this episode and we post it on Instagram Reels, on TikTok. So it's just a great way to to maximize your content and also the audio portion of uh, this that, that we're recording right here goes to all of the different podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Stitcher, Samsung, Samsung, Cham Amazon Music, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many. Yeah. And I'll add a point to that as well, too, with the repurposing. This has become an obsession of ours when we're working with clients. And we mm -hmm. actually have an online course that is built off of this exact strategy. And that is to use a podcast as your cornerstone mm -hmm. or as the first piece of content that you do. Because if you do that, then like Veronica mentioned, you can have copy for everywhere. You can have a podcast episode every week. Mm -hmm. And then you can split up five little short pieces of content from those podcast episodes. Mm -hmm. And you can also hopefully have a really awesome editor like ours, Reluca, <laughs> to help you edit your videos mm -hmm. so that you can put a lot of time into other areas of your business yeah. that are going to move the needle for you. Mm -hmm. And so it's just such a smart strategy for a business owner because you have all of your content all in one place, mm -hmm. all from one, one big chunk of effort. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Think about it. You uh, choose one day and that day you record your uh, four episodes. Yeah. And that content is, you send that content to your editors and then you are on multiple platforms. For a with, whole month. For a whole month with a very 
little effort. With one day of work. With one day and, of work. Uh, and it, maybe you would take an additional day of work to do your research as well. Mm -hmm. So you do a, work, a day of work for research, uh, gathering topic ideas, putting together your outlines or your scripts if you're going to have a scripted podcast. Mm -hmm. In the case of a podcast where you have guests, then you would also need to take some time for guest acquisition so two and scheduling. days a month. Two days a month, and you have a month worth of really... Mm -hmm rich content that's going to perform well on all of the platforms. Hey, I'm interrupting the episode for a little announcement. You know you have to create content to attract more prospects online, but the whole thing seems daunting and too much to figure it out on your own. Which social media platform should I choose? Should I start making videos for IG Reels, TikTok, or YouTube? What skills do I need to learn? What equipment do I need? Or maybe you're considering starting a podcast for your business. And if any of that's the case, we want to invite you to sign up for the waitlist for Smart and Simple Podcasts. Podcasting. It's our first coaching program where we, the Pod Sound School, will be teaching you how to create and launch a professional podcast from scratch. Content marketing, so your content is a lead generation machine for your business and different ways to maximize every time you record so you can create micro pieces of content that will go on different social media platforms. We'll be holding your hand through the whole process, meeting weekly with you, making sure that you're not getting left behind. We'll be teaching students and clients about podcast and video production and marketing for four years. Our approach to teaching is straightforward, innovative, and fun. So hurry up and go to podcastingsmart.com slash waitlist to sign up or find the link in the description of this episode. Stop working so hard on your content. Make your content work for you. Now back to the episode. Number five, <laughs> we're getting through this. The number five reason is networking opportunities. Ooh, you should take this one. And I feel like we haven't taken advantage enough of uh, the networking opportunities with our podcast not. because we are a little bit on the antisocial we side. We are definitely on the antisocial side, yes. For us to be on a podcast, and we get asked um, to be on podcast. Uh, but one of the reason is because we're like so busy with different projects going on at the same time. Yes, and we've also decided for the sake of, and we've we've run experiments on our previous podcast, Pod Sound School, mm -hmm. as well. And we did have guests, and we recorded with guests. We're also not very good at interviewing. It's not one of our strong. It's points. not one of our things. So, it, however, our clients they they are doing really really well with using their podcast. To network, yes, amazing things. I mean, the, the 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 places that they have gotten to. I mean, yes. we have so many stories. Yes, so many stories. The business growth, mm -hmm. the opportunities. It's amazing to watch what it's actually done outside of their podcast. Yeah. So the podcast. One of our clients is is planning her uh, reality TV her show. Reality TV show. Another one of our clients is making huge business acquisitions and generating a huge amount of authority in his field mm -hmm. for what he does. Mm -hmm. So, and all a lot of that is credited to the podcast and the networking and the names that they've had on their show, mm -hmm. the people that they've interviewed. And so you can really take advantage of the fact that you have a podcast to get a hold of industry bigwigs mm -hmm. or anyone you want to interview. You'd be surprised. You can get yeah. really big people on your podcast. Yeah, Be people like to talk about themselves they a lot. They love to talk about and themselves. And the projects that they have going on. Yes. And then also people have a PR team, some of these bigwigs mm -hmm. that are constantly looking for podcasts with mm -hmm. a somewhat decent sized audience. So, or at least just a podcast that looks like it has a good decent sized audience. Mm -hmm. So if you package your podcast really well, and it sounds really good. And then, you know, they're actually, when they come out with new book releases or when they have a new project that they have going on that they're trying to bring attention to, mm -hmm. it's in their schedule to go be on podcasts. Yeah. And if you are one of those people, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, we are a breed. No, we are, <laughs> we are the weird ones. If you like to have minimum, minimum, minimal conversation, I'm like, oh, I can't even say. Oh. If you like to have conversations with people, if you like to talk to people, if you like to, Sit down and and exchange ideas and just get into the mind of, of people in your industry and hear stories. Like mm -hmm. I have my top favorite podcast. They're all about interviewing people and how through the, those podcasts I have been able to find new books, to yes. find more inspiration. So if you're one of those, this format, the interview format, maybe uh the perfect format for you. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's move on to number six. Number six. 
is um, authority builder. <laughs> authority builder. So what I like about this is it goes with the networking, but mm -hmm. they are two separate things. So if you're networking, then you're going to be rubbing shoulders. And that's the power of association, mm -hmm. which is a really big deal. I mean, it's just huge. You look at podcasters and they've, you, you can also eat, well, they had so-and-so on their podcast. It's mm -hmm. like, it really does make a difference. Yeah, they have Matthew McConaughey. They have Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> or, you know, but whatever it is. Anyway, so um, that's cool. And so networking and, ath and authority, building authority, go with that. But even if you don't network, like we said, we're antisocial. It's mostly just us on our podcast. And Content Jefe has only just been us. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not going to out there to networking events and trying to be on other podcasts, having a well-produced, a uh, great packaged podcast immediately builds authority. Mm -hmm. Not only does it build SEO, so when people search for the name of your podcast, it comes up, uh, not, but then you are all, and not only are you available on all these other platforms, but it just does something to the, what people's perception of a business. It does something to people's perception of a person when they have a podcast and it just m makes them take you more seriously and you are immediately thought of an expert in the field of whatever it is that your podcast is discussing even without it's just like a way of creating and gathering proof right off the bat you, mm -hmm. you only need a small handful of episodes before you start to emerge as a thought leader or as an expert mm -hmm. and yeah. i don't think there's any other form of content that does that I don't think so either. No, mm -hmm. it takes time. It does. It takes mm -hmm. more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And part of it is because like, where do you go to get the analytics? You know, like yeah. <laughs> on YouTube, but they're, like, uh, they're out there. If they you can have, see. They're like, if you, you have, have 100 followers. subscribers, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, followers, then they're going to see that you have uh, 100 followers. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, your expertise and, and, and your authority, authority on YouTube is measured by those how, vanity those metrics. Vanity metrics yes. How many followers do you have? However, there are channels that are small that you watch the video and the video is well produced. Yeah. This person has the credentials. They know how to address their audience. And you're like, wow, like this, this channel is going to go to places. With podcasting, there's not really a way for you to find out, to find like, out that, that simple, like how many downloads you have. As long as the podcast is packaged in a way that is that it looks professional, that it has marketing some uh, marketing strategy a strategy behind it, mm -hmm. that you have an online presence, then you can reach out to anybody and and they'll they'll say yes they'll say yes yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah okay number seven easy to maintain easy to maintain it is relatively easy to maintain, especially if you could find yourself a podcast editor, which is the first thing that I urge our clients and students, even the students of our course, Smart and Simple Podcasting. In that course, students are required to learn how to edit and to actually edit their own trailer and their first two episodes. And the reason for that is it's very important that you actually know how to edit at least. What goes into it. What goes into it the jargon, how to speak the jargon, what makes a podcast sound the way it does. And how are, to ask for what you and want. And how to ask for what you want. What are all the plugins that are used? Why does, a why does a great sounding podcast sound the way it does? And how can I make that happen? It also helps you a lot when it comes to recording. See, you're going to at least have to record yourself. So yeah. you want to understand the basics of how all of that works. Yeah, I can now tell you like how much my anxiety went down or my insecurities and nerv nervousness every time I was going to record, how much that what that was eliminated when I understood the, the post-production process. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the editing, I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah. I don't have to be perfect. Like my words don't have to like be perfect for 45 minutes. Which, I mean, getting them, <laughs> I can't even like go five minutes without making a mistake. So uh, that was that was pretty cool to understand how that works. So uh -huh. that's why it's important. Yeah. So, but with that, once you have that basic understanding, do yourself a favor. And before you're ready, before you can afford it, get yourself a podcast editor, because that's a lot of time and a lot of hassle and a lot of stress that you can take off of your shoulders. And even if you're somebody like a weird person like me who actually enjoys editing, you still need to outsource it so that you can free up that time. Yeah, because you're the CEO. Yeah, you're the CEO of your business. You're not the e the editor of your business. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Easy to maintain. An editor will help you do it. You're going to have to get yourself a good handful of episodes under your belt before you'll find what works for you. 
you'll have to experiment with a few different ways of batch recording um, until you find what works for you. So mm -hmm. expect the first handful of episodes to be a little slower, slower, take you more time. Mm -hmm. It's okay because once you get 10, 15 episodes, you're going to, it's very easy to maintain. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the last reason. And the last reason. Is that. It's convenient for your listeners. Yes. And you already touched on this. And yeah, I was just, I don't know if I should repeat myself or well, I should just, just let reiterate. it go. just reiterate. However, like one of the things that I enjoy the most when I am doing chores around the house, when I'm doing the dishes and things like that, or even driving is to listen to podcasts. And because I, I'm, a, I'm an avid podcast listener, I can talk from the point of view of your audience And is that podcasting, you make it very convenient for your audience to listen to your content. Mm -hmm. uh, I read an article not too long ago that says that podcasting can, can reach your prospects in places where no other type of media can. And that means that they're away from their phones. They're driving and they can watch video or they're not supposed to. You better be not <laughs> watching video. And they're not distracted. When you're on social media, you get notifications. You... Uh, go from one app to the other and it's just insane it's crazy and then when you're back to reality it's, it's been an hour or two and then everybody is mad and hungry so no <laughs> with podcasting you can just uh, play your podcast and put on your headphones and do your thing yeah so that's why it's is uh, so desirable from the point of view of a marketer, marketer is to be able people. to capture that Uh, you could call it almost sacred time. Yeah, sacred time. Undividable There's, attention. Yeah, intimate time. Intimate time, It's yeah. a time like none other. And when you're in somebody's ears, many listeners have their AirPods, mm -hmm. have their Bluetooth headphones, and they like to zone out. For me, I don't do dishes. I listen to podcasts. Mm -hmm, that's, yeah. how I, that's how I motivate myself to do the dishes. Yeah. And so it's just beautiful. And, mm -hmm. that, and from a marketing standpoint, they learn to trust you. You're in their ears. They learn to understand you. Mm -hmm. And if from a, a business owner and somebody has a business, if you want your customers and your clients to get that trust and to like trust you that you should be the one providing the services or that they should purchase your product over your competitors, mm -hmm. that's the way to do that's it. That's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it for this episode. What do you think? You I, can. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I was... Attention is currency. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> attention is currency. Mm -hmm. And the longer you can hold somebody's attention, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. It's not just getting a million views on a five-second video. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with those million views? Can you get those people then to come listen to your podcast to where mm -hmm. you can really nourish and harness some amazing uh, results from those relationships? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, this is it. This is it. And until our next episode... Have a up, my F -A -F. friend, and go find us on social media at Pod Sound School.